So the eyes of the country are on Central Florida today. Let's bask in it. Let's celebrate. like Sunrail for longer than I can remember. We need to stop with the urban sprawl. We need to push for more tra uh, mass transit. This is the way to go. We need to support it. Let's get with the times the Central Florida. Keep the city beautiful and let's have more mass transit in Orlando. Thank you. Okay. Hey, we just showed up at the uh, Maitland train station and uh, we were surprised to find that the trains don't run on the weekends. Um, but uh, after speaking to some of our friends here, we we discovered that it doesn't run on weekends or late at night, and they're the two times I would run it, as well as, uh, or ride it, for me, as well as take it down to the airport. We're a huge supporters of Sunrail. Um, we ride it pretty much every day, and it's been it's been great. It's cut back on our, our transit time. We get time to relax. Uh -huh. and, um, so, so what about so what about you know? Because it only runs five days a week. What do you think about that? I think that's a huge problem. And I really think that a seven-day week service would really do a lot more for the community. And um, I know some people personally who, um, on the weekends, they knock out as an option. It takes them like three hours to get where they need to go. That's crazy. <laughs> to expand that service on the weekends, um, we have to actually add some additional crews um, because we do not have a, enough crews because of their hours of service and, and we have to limit the amount of time they work. Um, so we looked at a schedule of adding, starting at 6 o'clock in the morning and then ending up where we run today. Um, and the headways are about an hour and a half to two hours per day, uh, per hour. And um, that adds to about five and a half million dollars uh, per year to add that weekend service. So a lot of kinks that need to be worked out and I realize it's in its infancy stages, but we're coming up on the two year mark. We need to see better scheduling during the day. Two to two and a half hour lags in service during the day really aren't very efficient if you're trying to connect, say, at the uh, Central Link Station and your bus comes in and you say, if you've got like a half an hour or 45 minute or even a one hour wait, that's not bad. But there's gaps of two to two and a half hours that are totally unacceptable. So there's a lot of decisions 